Now we're gonna talk about the interior of the 2017 Ford Expedition Max Limited. So if you take a look here on your steering wheel, you've got a keypad here on the left-hand side and a keypad here on the right-hand side. Now, the left-hand side obviously controls the computer on the left-hand side here. This is your trip computer. It'll tell you how much you're saving on your fuel efficiency. It'll tell you your distance to empty, your towing. It'll give you off-roading status. So you can check up on a bunch of different details on the left-hand side here. Also, settings menu that can give you the option to turn off your cross-traffic alert, your rear parking aid. There's tons of different options in here that you can choose to turn on or off. On the right-hand side, it's a short screen to your My Ford Touch 8-inch screen here in the middle. So the short screen will just have entertainment, navigation, and phone options. And it's just a few options on this screen. The majority of your options will be on your 8-inch screen here. Also on the steering wheel, we have your cruise control located here. And on the right-hand side, your entertainment buttons along with your Bluetooth commands button and your phone hang-up and pick-up buttons. On the right-hand side of the steering wheel, you're going to actually have your 4x4 four four control. So your two-wheel high, your auto, your four-wheel high and low. Trailer brake control, we got your power lift gate button, your hill descent control, and your traction control. On the left hand side, we've got your lighting controls, your fog lamps are also there. And just around there we have brightness controls for inside the dash, that'll brighten or dim the dash here. Have a look over here, all your power options for your windows your locks and your side mirrors they're also power folding side mirrors along with blind spot information system you can see that in the top left corner there leather wrap steering wheel see up in the dash here a little bit of storage area there you've got an outlet here a 12 volt so you can plug in and charge there little storage area for some change or whatever you need to put in there two cup holders ambient lighting will light up in the cup holders along at the feet as well so you can change that a bunch of different colors little storage area here you got your climate control buttons all here for your heated and your cooled seats and it's dual climate control entertainment system of course and then the screen we'll pay more attention to the screen in my next video uh, basically to give you a little bit of a preview you're gonna have your audio controls your climate controls your phone controls your navigation your apps and your settings those are all things you can do on this sync 3 system which is extremely responsive we got the Sony sound system see the speaker there in this expedition auto dimming rear view mirror your light controls along with the sunglass holder there. Universal garage door opener. Sunroof. Lots of storage inside here along with USB plug-ins for your phone. I'm gonna head around to the back seat here where all the action's happening. I'll give you a quick preview from the front view has the captain chairs so you can see the middle spacing there you can also get a console to fill that space if you don't want it to just be an open space to get a easier access to the back seat so this can seat up to eight if you get the bench seat as well that is another option you could have a, a bench seat right there in between these two captain chairs so in the back here, you've got your controls at the side of the seat. Your headrest also pulls down to allow it to slip in nice and easy there. And you can actually pull it once more. It'll flip the seat up, easier to get in the back. It also has cargo management mode. And what that means is if you pull this here, it'll actually lower the seat a little bit further. So when you have the back seats also folded down, just easier to store extra additional items in your expedition. At the back here, you're gonna have your heated seats for the two captain chairs in the middle row. 
climate control for the rear and you have a couple power outlets here also 110 and the 12 volt along with a little bit of controls for the media center in the back seat we got the bench headrests are folded down right now cup holders your vents to get the heat right to the back and of course because it's an expedition you get the all leather seating you cannot get these in cloth in the trunk power lift gate and because it's the max you've got the double the space you would normally have in the trunk so normally it would stop right here but because it's a max you get that extra foot or so of storage space your power controls for the rear power folding seats are right here so if I press that you can see that it's gonna fold those third row seating down for tons of space if you need to deliver anything or go up north whatever it might be another button in the back here that's gonna close your power lift gate or you can also do it from the key stay tuned I'll put on a video about the technology in this vehicle I hope you enjoyed